All right, you're still on with us, and uh, we are just moving away from what we all share across oceans, across lands, distant places, and all that. Cultural traditions. Now, I, I, I have with me here another guest, and we're going to be talking about the same cultural attributes or traditional life. Let me first do this. Maybe I should just tell you a little bit about him, and then we'll now introduce him to you, but I should just go straight and uh, we take on the issues on the table. I have with me Mr. Olomoko, who is a promoter of cultural activities across Nigeria. Okay, let's, let, let's take the issue straight. What defines the people? Well, before I answer that question, let me say good evening to viewers at home. Well, what um, really defines the people is their culture, hmm. the way they behave, the way they eat, the food they eat, um, the clothes they put on, and then most especially the camaraderie that they share <laughs> when they see one another. Um, basically, Africans are known to be rich in all this. Uh, Africans are people that respect one another Africa is a place where the young will wake up in the morning and prostrate to his family. A man will prostrate to his family, uh, to his parents, while a, a lady will kneel down. And from the beginning, in the morning, it is very important that each parent must pray for their kids and to the future, of to those the day children. of those children, so that they can have a good day. And also, it is, it is, it is cultural that if I even see anybody I don't know, but for as long as we are black, it is cultural for me to say good morning, good afternoon, how do you do, how's the children, how's home, how's everything. But of course, uh, it is not in our culture for people like in the whites, I mean the, 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 the foreign people, if you ask them, sorry, how do you do? They just look at you and you just be going. But it is very cultural for us so to such. extend camaraderie to one another at every point in time. Viewers, that is uh, Ayo Olomoko. Ayo Olomoko has, of course, uh, an interesting personal story himself, but um, we'll do that towards the end of this show. Let us talk about Oshun Oshuba Festival, which uh, one of our uh, uh, earliest callers on this program was not too sure if it's godly. He is of the opinion that the celebrations there you know, they are demonic, they are satanic, and therefore misplaced. So how do you react to that? Because you promote Oshun Shugbo, and it's now like um, an international, you know, uh, well, event. Yes, um, we promote and consult for the Oshun Shugbo Festival, not Oshun Shugbo Festival alone. alone. We've also developed the Algun Fishing Festival. We have the Ebiakwe Festival that we have developed. We have the Jakadi of our festival that we have developed. We have uh, quite a lot of yes. this uh, festival that we have developed. The festival, of course, like I've really said in my intro, you know, where you exchange camaraderie and you get together to talk to people, you do a lot of things together, then it becomes a fiesta. Unfortunately, okay. the fiesta aspect is what majority of our people are turning to festival. And when they are talking about festival, a lot of people connote a lot of uh, misdemeanor about it, and they bring in a devilish aspect of mm. it. Well, I, I, I was amazed um, when I listened to a revered Reverend Agbo. Uh, Gabriel Agbo, whom I think I really have known for a very long time. I have always admired him when he was in the Guardian, and by, of course, by the time he moved on to, to the news or so, yes. hotel, magazine, and um, before he had a calling. Well, but it is it is auspicious that issues like this should be discussed. Should be discussed, and of course, uh, there is a biblical aspect of it, of our life that talks about the fact that our people perish out of lack of knowledge. Knowledge, and of course, we need to impair knowledge to people so that they will know what one is talking about. Now, if one is talking about festivals, especially the one in question, the Festival of the Oshun 
of, of, of the Oshobo people. The Oshobo Festival, summarily, is the celebration of the ways and the life of the, the Oshobo people. people, the Oshobo community. It's, it's about the founding, of, the that founding community. of the Oshobo community. And this is what they've been doing within since 1370 AD. Hmm. They've been doing it religiously hmm. on a yearly basis without any default. In fact, when they lost the immediate past KBSC, may so rest in peace, in 2010, just two weeks before the festival, a uh, majority of, especially our sponsors were saying, ah, why this don't, don't you have gold. feelings? Mm -hmm. why don't? But the point is that the Osho Oshubu festival is not about a person. It's not about the king. But it's about, about the, the kingdom. Mm -hmm. It's about the community. But of course, the 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 KBSC, who is the king, is the custodian of the festival. Mm -hmm. Summarily, the Oshoshubu Festival is the is, is is the way of life of the Oshoshubu people. And you see, they, they they rally around. They come. The people in diaspora they come around. You know, it's just like talking about the Ojudioba Festival in the Jabu in the Jabu land. For those that have not been there, they will always talk about it, that it's fetish, it is this, it is that. They will advance a lot of things to eat. But the, the Ojudioba festival, if you go there, you see how people are riding horses, how the Jebu people pull uh, in their best of attires, mm -hmm. and they come around and appropriate, they give honor to, their, to, their, to the Great. king. You know, they give honor to the kings, and then the, the, the people see them in their regalia and things like that. Now, you see... But can we, can we, there, there, there's, a, there's an issue that I think my director is saying that we're almost losing time here. But I think you should oh. just quickly let us know. Are there economic benefits to having these festivals? Well, you see, there is a very tremendous economic benefits, like I used to tell people, first of all, to the nation, then to the state, and then to the community, to the community itself. To the nation in the sense that it affects the the uh, GDP, the gross domestic uh, product. product of the nation, because people come along, along from it. We have international visitors. And apart from that, to the states, the high GR, the internationally generated Generated revenue, revenue is also uh, enhanced. Affected, enhanced, because um, vendors of food, uh, um, I mean, cultural materials, hoteliers, artifacts, artifacts and they sell a lot. And uh, so basically, I mean, a, a, there is a lot of financial benefit to the nation and to the people in general. Well, it's a pity um, mm. we cannot continue with uh, our, your uh, Lomoko here because we just don't have the time. It's a pity. We must get him back here because i like him to come and talk about these cultural benefits that we are going to uh, get if we promote you know, our traditions and our culture. We'll just take the last closing beat. Let's put on your dancing shoes and see if you can do it the way the Taiwanese do it on the World Dance Day. And on that note, we'll probably be closing. If we have a chance, we'll come back and say good night to all of you. Thank you.